Hey everybody, Sarah here. So um, this is just a quick video. Um, I don't think I've mentioned it before in my other videos, but I've been watching um, The Masked Singer. Um, I know it was in Korea. I know it was in America. I don't know where else it's been, but um, we've got it here. And all right. I convinced, um, all right, somebody on there, it was a hedgehog, and I am convinced it's, uh, I don't know, because I thought my, uh, Alfie Bo, and one of the clues mentions about having a ball, so, yes, it still could be Alfie Bo, because he, sings with um michael ball but then it could be michael ball because they mentioned hairspray as well but i don't know for some reason i th i'm thinking it is i'll be bow rather than michael ball out of those that's hedgehog um who else is there there was um actually i'll have to google the things what is it uh Hang on. Uh, all right. Um. All right. So, um, there's been three already that have already been um, revealed. So if you haven't watched this and you're gonna watch it some other time turn the video off now um but yeah uh first week butterfly was revealed that was patty palmer they said that um they live somewhere where they had fires and um i can't remember what the other clue was there was another clue anyway oh no and they they wedding tv wedding I don't know, I didn't say TV wedding. It said their wedding has been had been watched by millions of viewers. So, um, yeah, like, all right, it was Patsy Palmer, this um, celebrity. But in my head, I haven't, I haven't thought of these standards. I was thinking neighbours, because I was thinking, like, obviously this is done yet. I don't know when this was filmed. But I was thinking like the fires in Australia, not the fires that have been in like America before. So um yeah, and I was in Cameroon, that's a famous wedding. Um in neighbours. Um yeah, that was Patsy Palmer. The Pharaoh was Alan Johnson, who was a politician. Um I wouldn't have got him anyway. I can't even remember who I thought the Pharaoh was. Chameleon. I had no idea who he was. But when he was singing the song like to save the cell, I was like, he sounds like that one from the darkness. You know, he's got that like, you know, when he sing, um, what's it called? I believe in a thing called love. I was like, he has got that voice. That has to be the one from the darkness. And it was. And I was like, I got it from that. But I didn't get it before. Right. Um. I cannot think who Daisy is. Oh, I mean, Daisy is a Daisy, obviously, but I can't remember. I can't remember somebody. Duck. All right, Duck. To start with, because this is athletic and all that. You know, I was. I did think Jess Ennis, then I thought, I'm not sure. Then there was uh, Paul Radcliffe. One of the other said that made me think could be or Kelly Holmes. Um, James Kelly Holmes, I should say. Actually, Jess Ennis is a dame as well. I just realised that. I think. Oh, I just made that up. Anyway. Um, then they mentioned something about... I can't remember if they mentioned about Voice of an Angel. So then I was thinking Charlotte Church. I think they might mention Charlotte Church as well. But then I was thinking... Instead of Athletic... Ah, and, and the song they done to save themselves 
was um, Ave Maria. And now I just can't get it out of my head. All right. If anybody went to a boys' own concert in, oh God, what year was it? The past ten years, anyway. It was definitely past ten years because I know it was only the four of them. Um, yeah. So if anybody went to a boys' own concert when, no, hang on. Oh, I don't know if it was two thousand or eleven. I, whatever when it was anyway keep Duffy sang Ave Maria to show he could do the high notes because he was like why are you, Why was it always Stephen that had the high notes why did nobody ask me and then he started singing Ave Maria so when I heard that song I was like keep Duffy and I thought hang on athletic he's done the Iron Man he's done quite a few things have you seen their muscles on Keith Duffy oh my god um, yeah so now I'm convinced it's Keith Duffy <laughs> so I mean, duck. I mean, he's tall. He's the duck sometimes. I don't know. Um, yeah. Fox. I can not think about Fox. Um, I can't think of who I thought that was. I mean, I probably will remember when I watch it. Uh, Hedgehog, I already spoke about. Um, Monster, I can't remember. Octopus. I can't remember. Queen Bee. All right. I am convinced, I can't remember all the clues, but it was something about a child actor or something working when they were younger, and now they want to be the Queen Bee. And something about, I think there was some sort of clue about um, child of royalty or something. See, now I think, well, I did then, I still think now, that girl in Outnumbered. I cannot think of her name. The one that played um the girl in it because it was the two bo- two sons and a daughter. When I played the daughter, I can't remember if she brought the song out for what stuff it was like on Instagram or something. I don't know. And she had a good voice, which she can sing. And then there was um the fact that she played um Princess Margaret in the King's Speech. So I, I'm convinced that the Queen Bee is her. Tree, I can't remember. Unicorn, <laughs> all right, unicorn. Um, I know I'm not the only one that thinks this. But as soon as they started singing, I, I, I can't remember if the clues gave it, I say gave it away, I could be completely wrong. But the clues, I was thinking, I was thinking between two people. I was thinking between Matthew Morrison and John Barrowman. Then there was the, um, and, and the, the judges, the, uh, well, the other judges, yeah, they, they were like, one of them mentioned John Barrowman, one of them mentioned Matthew Morrison. I can't remember what other people they mentioned. But it was the voice, the singing voice. I was like, I've seen John Barrowman sing on telly, God knows how many times. I've seen John Barrowman in concert so many times. That voice sounds like John Barrowman. Even the first week it was on, and Unicorn had sang. I would not say John Barrowman sang, because it might not be him, but it sounds like him. And then the following day, because that was on on the Saturday, and on the Sunday, um, what you call it, started, uh, actually, did it start the same day? Same week? Yeah, it is such the same week. Then the following day, on a Sunday, um, they were going on about... I don't know if it was just as the programme started, they mentioned the mass Singer, and then about Unicorn. And Holly Willoughby, she, you know what, she's like with unicorns. She was looking at John Barrow and was like, is that you? And he was like, might be, might not be. I mean, he, he can't see if he was or not, can he? But even everybody's convinced it's John Barrowman. I'm convinced it's John Barrowman. And I just well if it is John Barrowman I want him to win it. But yeah. Um Yeah, so I don't know who else. I can't remember who I said about the other ones when I've been watching it. But 
yeah. So I'll keep you updated on that, see if I've got any right. Um, yeah, so I will see you in my next video, which will be sometime next week. Um, yeah, so see you then. Bye-bye.